Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm actually going to film a makeup collection. This has been a video that I, everyone has been asking me to film for the longest time now. Like I couldn't tell you when there has not been one person asking me to film a makeup collection for YouTube. Um, so I'm finally filming one today. I'm very lucky in the sense that I have been gifted a lot of it by various different brands, um, which I'm super grateful for. And that's all come out of my Instagram, which we'll put on the screen here. We'll go check it out. I have got quite a lot of makeup, which most people probably Probably wouldn't have but because of the fact that I have a makeup account and I pretty much do use most of it um, that's obviously like the reason I have so much of it I'm also not trying to brag in any way just so many of you have asked me to do a makeup collection so I've finally given it to you and yeah I hope you enjoy the video Close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all Trust, yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on we'll go. On and on we'll go. So, this is the overview of my desk. I'm actually really happy with how this side of my room looks. Um, but it's basically two five Alex drawers from Ikea. And then it was kind of like a worktop, I think, from Ikea. Um, so, it didn't come as like the actual desk. You had to put it together yourself. Um, and then the chair, I'm not actually too sure where that came from. I can't actually remember. Um, but this ring light is the newer 18-inch one from Amazon. And then it comes with like a tall stand where you can stand it up. But then this is actually a separate stand that we ordered, which was from Amazon, I think. And then over here I have my jewellery, back here we have this plant which is literally from Ikea, and then obviously my Alexa, um, then we have like two LED light remotes, and then here is a picture of me and all my friends at Manchester. And then over here I have two mirrors, this one's from Easehold and then this one's from Ikea. And over here is my brushes. As you can see I literally have a ton of brushes. Um, but these are like the small detail ones. These are like the blending eyeshadows. And then these are like all of the face brushes. So this is actually like a set that I got from Colourpop the other day. And then over here we have like my most used brushes. And then these two, I never really like tend to pick brushes out of them. Apart from that's my thick tanning brush. Um, and then we have this set of brushes and these are all from various different brands some from Bestope, some from Jessup, there's Royal Techniques, Colourpop, Primark, literally tons and then there's this really cute photo which my nan actually got me for Christmas last year I think um, and it says but first makeup and I think the frame's actually from Tesco and then the photo's from somewhere else I can't actually remember and then up here we have my photo wall which is not really part of my desk just thought I'd show you so next the mirror I get so many questions on where my mirror is from um, but we actually kind of made this ourselves, kind of so like the mirror obviously came as the mirror but we painted around the edges with white paint because it was actually like an oak mirror but then we bought these light bulbs from Amazon I think but as you can see they've got like wires around them so these are actually from Amazon and they're like wired light bulbs and then over here is like the part that you turn on with now, I actually have different settings you can get it bright and you can get it low as well so obviously I can literally turn it off and then click it and it'll come on again. Um, but this is honestly, I'm so happy with how this all looks. So this side is where I keep all of my makeup. And then over this side is where I keep all of my skincare. And I will be doing a skincare collection at some point on my YouTube as well. So definitely look out for that. Okay, so this first drawer, this is where I keep the foundations, concealers, and then the primers, which are like right at the back. Starting off, we have the pear soap and then this primer water from Primark because I use these two every day on my eyebrows. So I just thought it's easier if they're in the top drawer. And then over here, we have, these are the foundations that I use for when I've got fake tan on. And then these are more, my more like pale foundations, which I don't tend to use too much. Because pretty much half the time I have fake tan on. Um, so starting off, we have the MUA Pro Base. The Carter Beauty. This one is one of my personal favourites. I literally love this foundation. Um, then the Milani, the Too Faced, L'Oreal Infallible, Flormart Rimmel. 
O2O and then Flormar. More paler foundations. I have the Maybelline Superstay, the Revolution Conceal and Define, this Flormar um, foundation stick, which I haven't actually used yet because I'm not the biggest fan of foundation sticks. I mean, I will use it at some point. Um, then we have the Wet n Wild foundation, this Moonshot foundation, the Revlon Candid and the... Florence by Mills skin tint, which last time I used this, I didn't really like it. So next up with the concealers, we have the Maybelline Fit Me. This one's actually run out. I don't really know why I've still got it. Then we have two Quebest ones, which I literally love when I've got fake tan on. Like I can wear it with no foundation. It looks flawless. Then we have the Wet n Wild. That's what I used to cut my eyebrows with. Then we have the Flormar Maybelline Fit Me Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer, the NARS, the LA Girl, Revlon Candid, Primark, O2O, Collection Last Imperfection, Eye Magic, and then, then this matte based concealer, which I got from Superdrug before, but I've never used it because when I picked it up, I thought it was a foundation. And then this Cast Beauty Concealer, which is actually cracked at the top and it's leaked all over my fingers. And then right at the back where I keep all of my primers, we have the Illa Mask Primer, which, oh my god, this literally smells so good. Um, then there is the e.l.f. Poreless Potty Primer. This is one of my favourites. Like, it literally, it fills in all of your pores and sits your foundation on your skin so flawlessly. Then there's the Benefit Professional Pearl one, which I actually got the other day. We have the Annie Essence Pore Perfecting Primer. The Flormar CC Cream Colour Corrector. The Flormar Liquid Illuminator Primer. Then we have two of the Baby Skin Maybelline ones, which I don't actually like these because it just, it makes my foundation go really weird and I don't really know why. Then we have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which is one of my absolute favourites. It's so, so good. Then the MUA Pro Base, which I used to use this all the time. And then since I like, I've reached out to other primers, I've hardly used this. So I might have to go back to that because I do love that. Then there's the NYX Pore Filler. This is another really good one. The MUA Primer Oil. This, no, I don't like this at all. Then we have the Cast Beauty Illuminating Primer again. The Flormark Radiance Primer Highlighter. We have the Primark Glow Iridescence Primer. This used to be my favourite. I used to use this all of the time. If you're like one of the OGs to my makeup account, you will know I used to use this and the MUA Pro Base all the time. Then we have the Corvette Serum Primer. And again, this is so, so good. Then I have the MUA Pro Base. This is like a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer because this makes your base so, so tacky. And then there's the Primer Glow. This is literally like £3 and it's so good. It keeps your skin so moisturised. And then I have a sample of the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which I actually got when I bought the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Um, and I've used this like once. The smell is not too great, but, it's, but it is a pretty good primer. And then back here I have two setting sprays. I have the Morphe, which is amazing. I definitely recommend to anyone. And then the I Heart Revolution Fixing Spray, which again is really, really good. I never really use fixing sprays that much because I feel like they never really did anything. Recently I've used the Morphe one and it's so good. I love it. And then back here I have the Technic Colour Fix Colour Corrector Palette. Um, I literally never use this. But I just keep it at the back of my drawer just in case. It might come in handy one day, you never know. Um, so yeah, that's my first drawer. Okay, so going on to the second drawer. This drawer is so messy. And I really just need to organise it somehow. But I literally don't know how. Otherwise, there will be no space for anything. But starting off, we have the loose powders. Then I have my blush, my bronzer with a mix of like highlighters over there. Then we have like the cream products. And then back here is all of like the contour highlighting blush palettes kind of thing. Um, so starting off here, I have the Revolution Peach Palette. The Revolution Banana one. We have the Primark Loose Powder, the Milani Loose Powder, the Carter Beauty one. Then we have this is this is like a green colour corrector thing. Then we have the Moonshot Pressed Foundation, I think. I've never actually used that. Then we have the Sunkissed CC Pals. And then we have another one of the Art Revolution Peach Powder because I love them. It's just because I just love them too much. And then onto the second row, I have the mini Benefit California blush. Two colourful blushes. I think this was from their garden collection. Um, these are so pretty. Then I have another two colourful blushes from their Mulan collection. Then we have two Folklore blushes. Obsessed with them. They're around on Instagram. Definitely go check them out. 
Um, then we have the Floor Mar blush. This is more peachy and looks so pretty. Then we have the Milani blush, which I love. The My Beauty brand. This is the highlighter. Um, this is actually really pretty. Haven't used it in a while though. The Make Me Up Cosmetics blush heart, which my friend actually got me this for my birthday in like year seven and I've still got it. Um, then we have the Primark blush. This is one of my first ever blushes. Then the My Beauty brand blush as well. This is very peachy, very pretty. Then we have the NARS blush. This, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. It's so nice. And then here's the NARS bronzer, which I actually got the other day. I got it gifted. Thank you so much, NARS. And then over here we have two highlighters, which are from Primark. This is a blush from Colourpop from their Coral Collection. Um, then we have the Folklore Highlighter, Wet n Wild Highlighter, I Heart Revolution Highlighter. Then we have the Illa Mask Highlighter, which this is actually way too dark for me. I'll show you how, like, that's just so dark. Then we have the Stila Highlighter, um, the Imagination Loose Highlighter, the OG Bronzer, which this is, again, one of my first ever bronzers. Then we have the Aesthetic Art Bronzer. This is so nice. Which I actually got in a boxy charm. Then you have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Again, another one of my absolute favourites. Then we have two Patricia Bright palettes from Makeup Revolution. Over here we have the Primark Loose Setting Powder. Never really used that to be honest. Then you have the Big California Blush. The Hula Bronzer, which is so good. I love this. And then over here we have more of the liquid products. So I have the Quibest Liquid Blush. The Ted Baker blush which i've used a couple times it's really good for thumbnails then we have the Flormar highlighter stick which is super pretty i haven't actually used it yet though the maddie ziegler x morphe blush this is so pretty i love wearing this to school um and it looks super natural as well the o2o blush it's got like a little heart thing but it's more of like it looks more like contour on your skin but it's blush then there's the primark contour stick this is way too dark for me i don't really know when i got this then we have the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the contour shade. We have the Technic Contour Stick. Then we have the Frilliance Illuminating Highlighter and the Frilliance Blush. The blush is one of my favourites. I literally love this. Then we have the Mad Ziegler Dew Bomb. This is so pretty. It, like, it makes it like a natural shine. Like It's not really glittery. Um, then the Floor Mark Contour Stick. Same as the foundation and the highlighting stick. Um, and then back here we have the Revolution Powder, the Colourpop Coral Highlighter from their Coral Collection, the Floor Mark Bronzer, this is so good, it's also a body bronzer as well so you can wear it on your, like, your face and your body, we've got a Cars Beauty Palette where it's got the blush, highlighter and bronzer, the Soph Revolution Highlighter, this is so pretty, especially this shade. The Ace Beauty palette, which was in the Boxy Charm, that one's my favourite. And then back here we have two mini pudding and pie highlighters. We have the High Glow from Imaginations Collection with Lottie London. Apart from, I think this is like out of date because it did not look like that when I bought it. Then we have the Kiko powder. Then we have the Maybelline Baby Lips. I've literally never used this. Then we have the Centre Prey bronzer. This is so pretty. Then the mini Benefit High Beam. Right, I'm going to have to get right back here. These are ones that, like, I put at the back, and I used to use them all the time. Ever since they've been at the back of my drawer, I literally never used them. Um, the O2O blush. The Flormar highlighter contour kind of thing. Um, as you can see, like, it's really dark, which I've used a couple times. We have the MUA shimmer bronzer, which is so pretty, so dark. Then we have the Revolution contour palette. I literally used to use this all the time. That was my only one in, um my first ever videos and then i had the lottie london imagination highlighter palette which i've used a couple times but not too much then we had the sigma sculpt highlight and contour palette then i had the imagination x makeup revolution highlight and contour palette i actually met her where i got her to sign this um which she was so nice and then i have the eye magic contour palette then i have the beauty bear highlighter palette and this is super pretty apart from i'd love to be able to use that but it's just not my right colour, you know. And then, finally, in the straw, we have the Hannah Beauty Highlight Palette, which I never really use that much. As you see, I don't really use green highlighter. Okay, so onto the third drawer, which is my lash drawer. Um, this is where I keep, like, all of my lash stuff. I'm actually really happy with how this drawer looks. Over here, we have the lashes that I use the most, which is the Universal Cosmetics Lashes, Primer Lashes, Pound Lashes, Ryan Lashes. And then, back here is Cotton Candy Lashes. And then, over here are the lashes that are more from, like, small brands on Instagram. The lashes there, I'm not sure where they're from. Then we have the Colourpop Lashes, the Luby Lashes. These are lashes by Amica. 
these oh my god i literally love these lashes the hana beauty lashes they're so pretty then these lashes i think are from glitz and glamour but i'm not too sure the ethne lashes these are magnetic lashes which i'm not too keen on magnetic lashes um then we have lashes from sheen um mr la lashes eyelaw lashes befolin lashes and then these are befolin as well these are like my favorite style to wear and then in the middle here we have like my eyeshadow bases so obviously you had the p louise base this is so so good then we have the be perfect perfect prime base and the revolution pro concealer which i used to use this all the time but ever since the p louise base the p louise base has just been like my go-to you know um, and then over here we have the lash glue. So we have the duo. I have quite a few of these because these are literally my favourite. And then I have these which are in a tube. Which I'm not too keen on these. I just don't really like how they like stick to my eyes. Um, but these are definitely like the best. Then we have the cotton candy lash glue. The befolin lash glue. And then over here we have three lash applicators. We have the Ryan Lashes Unicorn Cosmetics. And I'm not too sure where this one's from. Um, but I don't really use these to put on my eyelashes. I personally like to use tweezers to put on my lashes, which are from Real Techniques. Obviously, literally any tweezers will do you the same. Then we have, like, spoolies, which I just chuck at the back. And then from, like, little lash sets, I have loads of these mini lash glues, which I don't use. But I just keep it handy, because if I ever run out of lash glue, you know, it's just always there. And then back here, I actually have, like, five lash curlers. I have tons of these. I don't really know how, but... They always come in handy. Personally, I use this one the most because it curls up my lashes the most. And then back here we have scissors, which I use to cut my lashes with. Then there's some lash sets at the back, which I'm not too sure where these are from, but I don't really use these that much. Then we have these individual lashes, which are from Balium Beauty, I think that's how you say it. Um, and then some ones from Primark and some ones from Eyelure. I really want to do these, but obviously... If I film, there's no point me doing them because they'll just come off so easily. Then we have this oil, which helps magnetic lashes come off. And then back here is just a massive lash palette kind of thing from Dye Silk, which, again, I don't really use. I use these lashes the absolute most. So now onto this drawer here. I think I'm going to actually take everything out and put it on my desk to show you because I just think it'll be so much easier. Because this drawer is actually jam-packed. Um, but over here, there's just, like, my lip products. I'm not going to show you individually where all of them are from because that will literally take forever. Um, but we have some from NARS, from Re Makeup Revolution, from Fenty Beauty, Colourpop. Loads of lipsticks, which are from various different brands. Revolution, NARS, from Boxy Charms, And if I went through them, it would literally take all day. But obviously, at the top, these are the ones that I use the most, which is why they're at the top. Um, so you'll probably have to see like where the different bands are from. And then in this little makeup bag, which is from Friends X Revolution, I keep all of my brow products. So we have the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit, which recently I've been obsessed with. This is so good. And then the Collection Brow Powder. I have the Fab Brows Brow Powder. Um, the Browology Brow Soap. The Jammy Brows, which is kind of like the pear soap. Um, but personally, I prefer using the pear soap. Then we have the Lily Cosmetics Brow Pomade, which is way too dark for me. The Benefit Brow Setter, um, which is so good. This and the Precisely My Brow Pencil are my go-to products at the minute for my eyebrows. Obsessed with them. Um, and then we have the... I don't actually know how to say this, but it's Brow Styling Cream. The Floor Mark Brow Pomade. Elf Brow Pencil. We have the Aiko Brow Pencil, the Folklore Brow Pencil. And I'm not too sure where this is from. Um, but this is like a felt tip for your eyebrows. Then we have the Flormar Brow Pencil, another Folklore Brow Pencil. And then this is like an infill for the Folklore Brow Pencil. Um, and then here is the Real Hair Brow Pencil, the Primark one, and the Carter Beauty one. Again, the Carter Beauty one is so good. And then finally, the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade, which, again, my go-to. It's so, so good. So then in this lobster makeup bag, which again is from Friends X Revolution. So for mascaras, I have the Maybelline Lash Sensation, the Benefit Roller Lash, the NARS Climax, the Aura Lengthening Mascara. This one, I'm not too sure where it's from. Then there's the Laura Geller Mascara, which I love to use these two as a combo because it just, it makes your lashes so nice. Then we have the O2O Mascara, the... Catrice Mascara, 
the this glittery one i'm not too sure where this is from um but it's literally like it comes out as glitter on your lashes and the sigma mascara which again is so so good and then the Aiko, the Floor Mart, and then finally the Carter Beauty Mascara. And then in here is like, I have my glitter liners. These are both from Collection, and these are so good, and they're super affordable as well. Then we have like all of these eyeliners, which are from Colourpop. They all came in like various different collections. Um, but these are so good to like put in your waterline to add like a touch to a look, you know? Um, and then we have the Floor Mart eyeliner, the Avon one. We have the LA Girl Super Cap, um, the Cotton Candy. Then we have another one of the Aiko. These, this one is literally my favourite. Like, it's so good. I feel like it's never going to run out. Obviously, it is. But like, then we have the NYX White one, which this actually cracks really, really easily. Um, and then we have the Sigma one, and finally we have a pencil one, which again I've never actually used. Um, so they're all of my eyeliners and mascaras and I just keep them in that bag for Makeup Revolution. And then in this bag over here, these are just like the lip products that didn't already fit in these ones. So there's loads of stuff from like Glossy Pops, Makeup Revolution, Florence by Mills, NARS, um, Dr. Pawpaw. And they're kind of just like the lip balms or like lip glosses that like didn't fit in this one. Um, and then I'm actually going to take these out so I can get to the back. Over here we have three of the soul bodies. Um, these are so pretty and they smell incredible. Like I can't tell you how good they smell. And then we have two of the ColourPop glitters. These are so pretty. Like look how nice they are. Um, and then back here I have a face paint palette which is literally from Amazon. Um, then we have two eyeshadows which they actually came individually um, and I don't really tend to reach for these which is hence why they're at the back um, but these are from my beauty brand then we have this palette which is from Model Zone again I haven't actually used this and um, then we have some sellotape for like when I used to do eyeliner and stuff and then back here I have the Imagination Ultra Glow eyeshadow and then we have two p louise bases the turquoise and the purple um i haven't really used these that much they're going to be definitely coming in future looks so look out for that um and then we have just some paint brushes for like when i do face paint a sigma bag which I haven't actually got anything in and back here we have a mirror which is very dirty um and then we have some like base crystals i guess you'd call it um which i can't actually remember where these are from i bought them from an instagram brand um but yeah i couldn't tell you where they're from because i literally don't know and then we have this face glitter transfer which i actually i think i like actually won in like a parcel parcel or something um and then we also have some more paint brushes so back here i have all of like the glitters and like the neon pigments these are from heavenly cosmetics which i got so long ago um, and then, yeah, these are all just, like, glitters from various different brands. We have, like, the Imagination Metallic Eyeshadow. Um, there's some glitters from Luby Lashes, Sleek, NYX, loads of different brands. If I went through them, I'd literally be here forever. I think this is actually from Saffron Barker's range from Primark, which was ages ago. And then in this little bag back here, I have loads of different eyeshadows from Colourpop and also Sheen Cosmetics liners. So we have like the Colourpop bases here. These are four of them from their Sandstone collection. Then we have another one from their Coral collection. Then we have two of these from their Garden collection, which these are so, so pretty. Um, and then the, we have the Hourglass one, which is from a boxy charm. And then in here are just like the Sheen Cosmetics liners. Um, these are so good and they literally make your look like pop. So I definitely recommend them from Sheen Cosmetics on Instagram. But yeah, as you can see, this drawer is like very jam packed. Um, I didn't really have any more space to put them all. So I kind of just had to try and like organize it kind of neatly, which it obviously is jam packed, but like it does kind of look neat. Um, I kind of need more drawers. So I'm going to start off here with the Carnival XL Pro Palette. This palette is insane, honestly. If you have a makeup account and you want this, or even if you don't have a makeup account, like, this is, you just need it. Like, you can create any look with this. Then we have the Joan Charles Morphe Palette. I usually use this all the time, but I haven't really used it too much. Um, but again, it's a super, super good palette. We have this Neon Palette from D2 Cosmetics. This Essentials Palette from Sigma. The Colourpop Hocus Pocus palette, the Colourpop Sandstone palette, 
Then we have this one from Hip Drop. This one's so pretty, which I actually got in, I think it was the August Boxy Charm. Then we have another one from Dito Cosmetics. We have the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed Palette. The Colourpop Stone Cold Fox Palette. This is actually one that I got the other day, and it's so pretty. And the colours in here are so pigmented. Um, and then there's the Obsession Palette. We have a Colourpop Coral Palette. The Carter Beauty one, which this creates perfect neutral eyeshadows um the colourpop garden variety the mulan colourpop one um we have two palettes from Focalore, and then we have the eye magic cosmetics palette i literally used to be obsessed with this and i still am to be honest like it's just such a pretty palette then we have the heather lou cosmetics x makeup izzy unicorn palette um my friend izzy actually made this and honestly so proud of her this is such a pretty palette as well then we have the Revolution Pro. This was my first ever eyeshadow palette. And I had a makeup account literally working with just this palette. I don't know how I coped. Then we have the Revolution Pink one. The Quibest Mercury. And down here we have three palettes from Dito Cosmetics again. Then over here we have, I think there's like five mini palettes from Quibest. I haven't actually used these yet. And then back here, there's the Aurora Neon Palette. I haven't used this, but it looks super pretty. Then we have the Unicorn Cosmetics. I think this is like their Teamic. I think that's how you say it, palette. I actually went to the event for like the launch of this. And so grateful for that. And then we have two Sigma Palettes. We have the Friends X Revolution Palette. The Jeffree Star X Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette. Then we have this mini palette from Unleashia. And then there's the three Makeup Revolution Monica, Phoebe and Rachel palettes from their Friends collection. These are so pretty and I'm still yet to film with a couple of them. And then right at the back, which are the palettes like, I don't really use too much. That's on there at the back. We have the Folklore Endless Possibilities Palette, the Hannah Beauty Eyeshadow, which I don't really use this too much. The Dito Cosmetics, this is super pretty, but obviously like I wouldn't really go for any of the colours in, like I don't really feel like they go together. Then we have the Puda, I think that's how you say it. Um, the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil Palette. This is like the OG palette. We have the Makeup Revolution Patricia Bright and the same one again. Obviously, they've got different shades in them. Um, then we have the Makeup Revolution X Rachel Leary Palette. This is super pretty um, and especially for like your base products as well. And then we have the Morphe 35B. This was one of my first ever colourful palettes and... It's actually such a good palette. So if you want like an affordable, colourful palette, definitely recommend the Morphe 35B. Um, and then right at the back here, we have the Milani Pure Passion palette. Oh my God, this palette is so pretty. Apart from the fallout of the pigments is quite bad. This is the Stephen Barker Good Vibes Only, the Get Ready With Me, and then the Love Affair palette. And then finally, the last palette in here, the Folklore Crystal Palette. So that's all of my, my eyeshadows. And now I need to put all of these back, which is going to take me absolutely forever. This drawer is honestly jam-packed. Like, if I get any more palettes, I literally don't know where to put them. Because I cannot fit any more palettes in here. Like, they're just so, so squidged up. Um, but I managed to get them all in there. I don't really know how. So that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and it was kind of what you were expecting, I guess. Um, and I hope it's shown you like maybe some products that you might want um, or anything like that. You can DM me over my Instagram where I'll try and answer most of them, um, which I'll leave on the screen and in the description below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. I'm so lucky that we have hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. It literally means the world to me. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.